Hi guys and welcome back to another DIY episode with me, Liana. Today I'll be sharing with you how to make DIY furry fuzzy bags inspired from Balenciaga and Stan Studios. Before I jump into the video on how to make this DIY, I wanted to do a special shout out mention to Ana Luisa for this beautiful jewelry pieces that I'm wearing in today's episode. I absolutely love them. Anna Luisa is a New York jewelry based brand and they are doing really amazing things there. I've come to know this label and I cannot get over them because I am a person which is quite fussy normally when it comes to jewelry because I am always after something timeless good quality and something that is me and practical for every day but also for special occasions. The good thing about Ana Luisa is that it is a ethical sustainable label which has really good practices which all of you should really get to know about because they recycle 100% gold and gold mind you is found in so many different items and everyday items such as your phone, such as your computer and many many things and they recycle this and turn it into beautiful timeless pieces which are really good quality. I'm not gonna lie like I, I honestly I did not know many labels that were this ethical and this transparent to their customers. So not only this but they also recycle their brassware and their silverware which is really cool because I love sterling silver and it's good to wear pieces which will last you a really long time and will not rust. You won't have to worry about that kind of stuff. And what I love about Ana Luisa is that you can pair it with outgoing outfits or formal occasions or evening occasions, but then you can also dial it back and wear it with like everyday clothes, which are the more subtle pieces. They have like smaller hoops. That's how versatile their jewelry label is. I love it when brands are really transparent with you because you're able to know about their processes and that they are genuinely wanting to help be more sustainable and be more ethical. So if you guys don't know or haven't heard about them, I would recommend you to check it out. I've attached their link down below for you to see their label. You guys will absolutely love it. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to jump back into the video in which I wanted to share with you guys about, and that is how to make these DIY very fuzzy bags. Now, this was inspired from Balenciaga and Stan Studio, a Swedish brand which I recently discovered while I was binge shopping on Netta Potter. Binge shopping as in window shopping. Anyways, actually, I bought this jacket from there, so I can't talk, but I absolutely love this jacket from Stan Studio, and I absolutely fell in love with their very fuzzy bags that I decided to make a video about it and show you guys how easy it is to make. So let's have a look at it. So I wanted to do a show and tell of the deluxe short fur that I bought. I bought it from Linkraft and I think it was from what I remember, it came to $30 a meter, but with the 50% off sale that they had, I got it for $15 a meter. Now you don't actually need to purchase a lot of it. I purchased about 40 to 50 centimeters just because my bag sizes won't be a big big bag a tote bag will be pro approximately yay size um i just wanted to show a quick look at what the fabric looks like it's super furry and it's super soft and like i just can't wait it feels so good to touch so i got them in the pale pink i also got like this gradient uh textured one here now it was really hard to decide because they had heaps of different colors and all colors look really amazing i just started with this so let's jump right into it so the next thing i did was i started getting newspaper to create some pattern pieces of what i wanted the bags to be based around so i made sure that it was according to the size that i wanted including extras which we will fold over later like so for the inner part of the bag so you can think of it as a facing piece and that needs to be included in the pattern piece so this is one of the bigger tote bags patterns which i want to go with i've got fur everywhere on my body right now mind you just a heads up when you do want to work and buy this deluxe fur fabric it will molt like crazy crazy so that's just my heads up so this is my first pattern piece i've also got a smaller tote bag piece how cute is that 
and I've, again I've included the facing part which we will fold over so it will be like a mini mini bag so as you can see I've just folded the newspaper according to how I want the sizes to be and then I just taped it down so that's my two pattern pieces here I've also made some strap pattern pieces which will be the straps to go on each side of the bag so we've got a long one here which will go with the big tote bag and then we'll get so we've got a small strap here which will be for the small bag it looks quite wide as you can see but the reason for this is because we will fold it later so that it will be almost looking like this size which I'm quite happy with that thickness one of the other pattern pieces that we needed is the side panel of the bag so to get the side panel of the bag, what I've done is just fold in half the mini tote bag base piece into half and that will be the side panel of the bag. With the big bag, I'm probably just going to fold it into a third, like that's a third of it. So that's the side panel of the big bag, side panel of the small bag. When you open it up, it'll give you the base size of the tote bag. All right, so first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to do a layout plan and just lay on top the pattern pieces on top of the fabric. So that's the first pattern piece done. So we're going to do the other side now. So just copying it over to the side. Doing some pins in place again. All right, so that's the second piece, pattern piece done. And then now we can do the side panel. Now we're able to the pattern pieces in which we've got cut up we've got the two side panels here we've got the front of the tote bag the back of the tote bag and then the two straps which will go on each side of the bag all right so next thing we are just going to work on the straps of the bag what we're going to do is we are going to just flip it over fold it into thirds so like this I might just fold that edge down so that we don't see any exposed edges you're just going to get some needle and thread and then you're going to hand sew it down. Now, some of you will be able to do glue, like a fabric glue to hold it down. But um, I'm just going to do hand sewing just because I feel it will be a bit more secure. But either option will be able to work. Alright, so that's all the hand stitching done for the handle of the bag. So we're going to do the next side of the strap and we're going to go ahead and use a needle and thread and repeat the process of hand stitching it down. The good thing about working with fur, even though it molts a lot, the good thing is that it conceals sewing amongst all that fuzziness. Alright, so that's the end of the hand stitching for both the handles for the front and back. How adorable do they look? Alright, so first things first, we are just going to start pinning in the side panels to the front and back just so that we can visualize how we're going to sew the pieces together. Just like a jigsaw puzzle, this will help us in the process of sewing. So just going ahead with placing the pins in. I like the backing of this fabric because it's just a bit more easier to work with. Having a non-fuzzy furry side, I feel like the pins can easily get lost amongst all this fuzziness. Alright, so that's all the pins in place. We've got the two side panels for the bag as well as the front and back of the tote bag. So let's go ahead and start sewing it now. So that is all the edges sewn up. Right, so a hot tip to get like straight corners at the bottom of the tote bag or especially around the side panel. To get that straight edge at the corners, I'll show you guys what I mean. See how it's 
that side panel edge is straight like that. All you have to do is create like a triangle between the seams on the side panel and then you just sew a straight line like that. What I've done is put pins in place so that we know to sew straight across there. Otherwise, if you sew like straight across without doing those triangles, it doesn't create a good structured shape for the corners. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then we will sew directly at the bottom of the, of the bag. So for the bottom of the bag, we're just gonna put some pins straight across like that. And then we are going to go sew it together. All right, so this is what it looks like with the straps stitched down. Alrighty guys, we're ready to move on to the other side of this bag to sew down the straps. And that comes to the end of my DIY tutorial today. Here is a look at all the final products. Hi guys, so that comes to the end of my DIY tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and throw in a comment down below. And for those of you that are interested in Anna Louise's beautiful jewelry, I've attached their link down below as well as my code. So give it a squiz and you guys will love it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.